so Helen, I've been a huge admirer of, of you know the work you've been doing, making these amazing uh, Rhone inspired wines from all over the place, and uh, it's pretty amazing. And and I think it's really unique and in the U.S. Like, how have you done it? It's been I know it's been a sort of a long process, but what you know, what's the in your mind? What's it all about? Um, just looking at different uh, expressions of special sites is basically, you know, trying to finding really special sites and then making wines that have a pure voice that is unique to that area. So I started um, making wine in Priorat and Priorat's really interesting because if you think about Priorat, it's mostly all Licorea, which is a similar soil, but with the different aspects and elevations and humidities and kind of cool and warm um, tendency is proximity to the opening to the sea. They make really different wines, those sites. And so when I came back to California, I started looking for, I knew I would be in Napa. I knew I would be making mostly, you know, Cabernet and Bordeaux blends, but I loved Rhone varietals. And so I started looking for Grenache and it took about a year to find the first site, which was up in um, Knights Valley at Pelican Ranch, 1100 foot elevation. And there was actually schist in the soil, which was very appealing. <laughs> and the vines were um, planted for the tasting room at Sterling in the late 90s. So the vines had age because this was 2006. And then because I found that vineyard um, and I'm friends with Andy Erickson and Annie Favia, I was catching up with Andy one winter and we were talking about, you know, what are you up to? What are you doing? And I said, I'm starting my own label. And he and he asked what I was making, and I said Grenache, and he said he need to meet Ann Kramer. So Andy and Annie really introduced me to Ann Kramer from Shake Ridge Vineyard out in Sutter Creek. And um, just driving up to the gate at her property, you can see how much thought and care she puts into farming. And the site is beautiful. It's rolling hillsides with the Sierra uplift, you know, really rocky soil. And so I started working with, um, with her in 2007. And from there, it just, you know, it's it's this journey of um, traveling out to the foothills, noticing that the soils are unbelievable and really varied. And then having another friend introduce me to Ron Mansfield in Apple Hill, which is just outside of Placerville. And again, very different soils, but that that's the process, you know, then connecting with Ulysses Valdez and um, having the opportunity to work with the Valdez family at Silver Eagle and, and then, you know, friends with Lee Hudson and bottling his olive oil one winter, he said, Helen, why don't you buy grapes for me? And so I started working with Lee um, with his beautiful Syrah and um, Carneros. So, so, it's you, so just, you're always on the outlook, like just if, you know, if something comes along. And I'm always amazing. open to it. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Always open to it. And I think... You know, that's it really takes a site and whether that site speaks to me and then it's working with people because it's that relationship of working with the grower and the farmer um, since we don't own our own property and getting the best farming and expression of that site to make, you know, pristine fruit to make beautiful wine.